Hi. As promised, I've reviewed some online resources for exercise routines that you might want to try in your own home. I was hoping that you would do this on your own, but here are some videos that I browsed that I can recommend. These are just starting points that you can modify to suit your own personal tastes and needs. All the links are included in this video's description. As always, feel free to contact me if you need some help. Before I start, I've got to say that it's a challenge to find exercise videos with people wearing full shirts. If you're offended by someone not wearing a full shirt, just listen to the audio of this video and don't visit the second and third links in this video's description. Problem solved. If you're offended by me mentioning that some people might be offended by something that you're not offended by, well, I find that offensive. Okay, first we'll cover circuit training, which I mentioned much earlier in my video series. So, circuit training is an attempt at getting the benefits of anaerobic and aerobic exercises by linking anaerobic exercises together with very little rest. It's pretty good at improving muscular endurance, and it helps improve strength to a limited degree. However, the drawback is that it's very hard to make it aerobic, and even if you can train yourself to get there, it doesn't impact your cardiovascular endurance as much as aerobic exercises. Still, in your situation, it might be the best choice for you. The first video is about circuit training by What's Up Dude? It's called What is Circuit Training? Some examples in the video use weights, but you could do other bodyweight exercises or substitute other objects in your home for weights like plastic water bottles, bottles filled with different amounts of water. Or you could use your cat. This is probably the most low quality of the videos that I'm showing today, but it shows a good deal of variety and it goes over some good concepts. Here's another video that is a little more critical of circuit training by a channel called Calisthenic Movement. It's called The Most Effective Workout, How Good is Circuit Training? Next I'll show you uh, one source for calisthenics information. Uh, calisthenics are exercises that use your body weight as resistance and often don't require much if any equipment. Yoga, minus the meditation and ritual, can be considered a form of calisthenics too. They are excellent at improving muscular endurance, and depending on which exercises you pick, they can be a great way to start building muscular strength, although you'll never be a world-class power lifter doing them alone. These exercises are easy to find on the web, but I have one source here that I kind of like by Calisthenics Family. This video is called How to Start Calisthenics at Home. I really like how most of these exercises are shown and explained, but I'm not 100% sold on the nutritional advice or how they group them. I also suggest that you are careful with using certain items in your home, like tables, as exercise equipment. They might not be able to handle your weight. Also, like most people, they're trying to sell something on their site. Feel free to look, but I'm not here to promote anything. The last section, the last section in this video will cover aerobic exercises. There have been lots of aerobic exercise videos available since the 1980s. They can be effective, but you need to be careful about the intensity. Some will be called low impact or low intensity routines, and others will be called high impact or high intensity routines. You'll also hear terms like beginner, intermediate, or advanced used. Remember our FIT lessons, F-I-T-T, -T, especially the part about intensity and overtraining. Always start at low intensity and modify the exercise routine later as needed. This aerobic video is by Body Project and is called 30 Minute Fat Burning Home Workout for Beginners. Okay, I've given you some things to look at and think about. However, I want you to remember two things. If an exercise is really painful, stop. Also, if you're so sore from a workout that you can't train effectively for your next one, you've overtrained and you need to modify your routine. That's all for now. Sorry, I don't have any cute comedy sketches or anything for you. I'm a very busy wolf, and it is not my job to entertain you. I am a professional.